Use the off-ball principle to obtain the ground state electron configuration of selenium, Se. The off-ball principle basically states that, hypothetically, electrons orbiting an atom will fill the lowest available energy level before the higher ones. This means it would fill 1s before 2s, and 2s before 2p, and p's before d's, and d's before f's. This is how they harmonize into the most stable electron configuration possible. Our element that we're using is selenium. Its atomic number is 34. That means that we want all of these little numbers in our electron configuration to add up to 34. There's a certain pattern when you're doing these. You always start with 1s2, and then you go to 2s2, then 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, and you go on and on diagonally like this, and these ones you will rarely use. So since selenium's number is 34, we need to get to 34. So we begin with 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, and that already right there gives us 10. Then we move on to 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, and that gives us another 10. After 4s2, we move up here to 3d10 and start another diagonal line. So we write 3d10. The next one has six spaces available to fill, but we're already at 30 and we only need four more to reach 34. So we're simply going to put 4p4 instead of 6. Normally you will write all of these in one line, not separate into three rows such as this. So after you've done this, you're not done. You look back at your periodic table and look at your list of halogens. 36 is greater than 34, so we know we're not going to be using this one or any of these that are underneath it but argon is 18. So one can say that the electron configuration of selenium is argon, which is 18. You can always write little notes in there. Argon, which is 18. So we're gonna say there's two, four, 10, 12, 18. So all of these gave us argon. That leaves us with 4s2, 3d10, and 4p4. So what we're going to do is write our argon and simply put these listed right next to it. And this is your electron configuration for selenium.